Today we're in kitchen and we thought I'd give you a little recap of our adventure going to countdown year 2021 into 2022. Got amazing epic pictures that like it was really hard to see these kind of pictures unless you're in the boat. And we kind of have a life defying moment story to tell you guys. Scary moment be be before, uh, before we show you the pictures. So yo, you, you want to tell them what we did for New Year's babe? We went to see the fireworks on a small boat. That fits like <laughs> seven people. Seven people, yeah. So first, she didn't know. She thought we were gonna go to this awesome restaurant by the river first. We went to the restaurant, everything was all good. We didn't even have tequila. And I had two, only two glasses of wine, which is awesome. Then we had to take a boat ride all the way from the edge of the town to where the firework was in town. So in Thailand, they lit up a firework in Chao Phraya River. And in order for us to get from our point of Shao Pia River to where they lit it up in front of Sayakon, Sayam, Icon Sayam, <laughs> it was like 10 <laughs> kilos. We were, with our, we were with our friends who had the boat. The boat only fit like seven people. We were with this family with a, a small little kid. All three, four of them sat in the back. Dad, mom, the nanny, the kid. And we were in the front because she's like, man, just sit in front of the of you and shit. <laughs> no, because I know that the family will sit in the back. Okay. <laughs> And then, then by the time we left the restaurant to go here, it was like 10 p.m. Which I didn't know we are gonna go somewhere after the <laughs> restaurant. She thought the firework was gonna be in front of the restaurant. That was a river too. You guys gotta be epic. <laughs> so yo, this is the best view in Thailand. I'm talking about hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people surrounding that area and the hotels, shopping mall, the bridge. But we were right next to the boat. We we're trying to get next to the boat. And on the way there, brah, every motherfucking boat, bigger, smaller, everybody was getting there. Not too bad, but it was wavy and it was windy and you know, our small boat was just bumping and bumping and bumping and bumping. She didn't Yes. <laughs> and, and, and she's scared, she's scared of water. I'm just, I'm just holding my camera, which is this camera right now. No life vest, don't copy me. And she got a life vest on. Finally, she went and sat in the middle. By the time we got to where the action was happening, brah, like, this is Thailand. We lack what, babe? What, what do we lack in Thailand? Organization. <laughs> yeah, Thai politicians have no organization or lack of many other skills. But we got there and it was just random boat everywhere. Like people who want to freaking party. But and not one or two or ten. It was like more than that. It was like hundreds. Way more. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was also boats where, you know, they actually have festival on the boat that can carry like hundreds like and hundreds boats. of people. Bunch of those and we're in this tiny freaking boat with like Yamaha engine that carry like seven or ten people <laughs> So the wave was just hitting everywhere. It was us a bridge and then the big boats and then, and then he <laughs> goes between the bridge and the big boats and behind the big boats and then I was like You go closer to these big boats. I'm jumping off and I'm saving my life Guys, and those big boats are was the legit big boat what you see on the ocean outside. Guys, we, we were driving back and forth and sideways <laughs> and back and forth, dodging these big boats and stuff. And finally we got to the corner where it was safe, but the water was flowing backward into this little like port thing. We finally stayed and tie our boat to to the other boat <laughs> that was tied to the port. So we felt secured for a second. 30 minutes to the countdown. Picture was awesome, guys. The view was freaking amazing. That was nice. It was nice. It was epic, and like the the sound you hear from like a boat being maybe like 200 meters in front of you, or maybe like 400 max, lighting up the firework. Super bomb, super amazing. Plus the view. So we're glad we get to be there, actually, front stage. And I got some picture to show you guys at the end. I'm pretty sure these pictures you can't get anywhere. I'm gonna show you guys a picture towards the end. But first, let me tell you about the ride home. <laughs> that was not the worst. The ride there was also rough. I think I think it was rough only because after like the second bump yeah. where I almost fly out of the boat, <laughs> this guy was laughing. He said, Oh you, you won't fly out. I'm like, yeah. Oh, I'm did. not that heavy. 
So I would. And then like I go back to the middle and then his friends who was driving the boat. He was just chilling on a glass, you know, like where he discovers the, the captain from the thing. He was chilling the on the captain's seat. Yeah. So he was just chilling on the glass. I'm like, <laughs> oh the, shit. The, the family in the back were just kind of closing their eyes. The nanny was sleeping because I know she's like <laughs> fucking praying inside. She's like this tiny, like barely five foot little nanny. And on the way home, I think, this is my theory and it could possibly be 200% true. Every motherfucker that was there was drinking. So they're speeding back at midnight. Yeah. There's obviously more wind after midnight and it's more open, but because big ass boat, fire, 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 fireman boat, sailboat, any boat, every boat was hurrying to go back. Maybe yeah. to party some more and what. We're in this tiny little boat in like Chaopaya River. And the waves was like even bigger. <laughs> you guys, I got some clip of the like wave here. Like you see, like we were sitting in the front also on the way back, but I regret I did that. But <laughs> it was like this, like you legit see the waves go and each time it comes, I was like, Holding on to the thing. I had my mother next day. I have like muscle ache from that holding it. <laughs> she's, sitting, she's sitting next to the captain seat. Every time I look back, she's just looking down like she's praying inside and shit, bro. And I'm like, I'm just like, oh my god. I'm just looking like as far as I can. And I'm just like, I'm having fun. Matter of fact, I saw I saw two UFO. If you guys believe in UFO, we saw two UFO. Yeah, we saw. We, we saw two. That's one alien yeah, right here. Like, yeah, you guys just saw two UFO. Saw two UFO. And um. <laughs> Yeah, man, guys, it, it was just pretty fucking epic, dude. Like, basically, on the way back, we finally made it back. After, like, a one hour and a half of, like, the worst... Oh, yeah, that's not the worst part. It was dark. The wave was really wavy because these guys are going fast. Plus, the fact that in Thailand, there's this kind of weird vegetable that like to grow on the river. So, our engine, at one point, we ran through this kind of veggie garden in because the, the guy was like navigating like <laughs> because the guy was we drove through that and engine almost shut down i'm like i'm like now i'm freaking out for the other people because if that shit shut down the boat's gonna be like that in the middle anyways guys we got tell back them, tell them what you was thinking what you said to me what if the boat fall <laughs> oh I, I was like on the way back i was like if the boat fall how am I gonna save my girlfriend and not let go of my camera at the same time? Like, I don't care if the camera is wet and doesn't work anymore. I'm not letting go of my camera and I'm saving my girlfriend. And I have, I'm like the only dude with no vest on, you know what I mean? Like, don't copy me or anything. But guys, we got some epic pictures. I didn't like super edit them or anything, but like, I just, we just want to show you guys what the view is like from the boat and Chapaya River. So without any further ado, I'm gonna show you guys these pictures. Hope you guys have a good New Year's. We got a lot more stuff coming in. I know this is not nothing about cameras or car, but I just kind of want to get more personal with you guys and share our experience. And if you guys like it, let me know. Peace and love, guys. We'll see you next. We'll see you next year. This next is next year. year. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Peace.